In this week's video, it's all about the coronation of King Charles III. No, we're not invited, as all of our ancestors in the past had. However, since marrying into this aristocratic family, I've been searching for the coronation robes and coronets for years. Your mom said it's in a chest in the house. And do you know what, to be honest, I've never looked in any of these chests. And finally, I found them. Freaking out right now that we found this. <laughs> Plus, there's new life at Mapperton that will melt your heart. Hello. Here we go. I'm in the hall right now because I just had a conversation with my mother-in-law who has told me that she thinks that the coronation robes for obviously the upcoming coronation, which aren't being worn this year, um, are in a chest in the house. Now, of course, for the American in me, I am way over excited, beyond excited. And <laughs> in fact, I can barely even hold my, um, uh, this enthusiasm inside of me, but I want, before I go looking in the chest, there are like dotted around the hall, there's that chest, there's that chest there, there's a chest just over there. And so there's all these chests and she just said, I don't know, it's, I think it's in one of the chests in the house, but I need to find Luke to see if he's excited um, as I am about this. Uh, and hopefully, oh my gosh, if we find these coronation robes, I am literally, going to scream from the top of my lungs if we find these robes. I have, by the way, since I've married into this family, I have been asking about these robes. Like, are there coronation robes that exist? And the answer I always was getting was, yeah, they're somewhere in the house. They're somewhere in the house, but there wasn't a reason for me to go look for them um, until now, because there's a coronation happening on the 6th of May. So I need to go find Luke right now. What are you looking at? Because I have exciting news, but are you looking at me in a mint room leak, what they've done? So where is, the, where is the leak coming in? Well, so what's happened, before I tell you my exciting news, is do you see how Darren's put that black sort of um, bit of uh, whatever it is? Because we fixed the leak that was coming through the ceiling on top there on the lead roof. But what's happened, water's coming through the stone and then down into the window. And you've seen that before on the other side where it would drip through. So- I mean, it, this uh, is Julie's greatest project. Yeah. You've put so much I know. time and effort into this and I can't bear the idea yeah. that water is making its wicked way into the Munamun room. But it hasn't but damaged anything. <laughs> but, 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 but your mom has just told me so that there are coronation robes. And you know, I have asked about this, you know this for a while, and I was always told there's somewhere in the house coronation robes, or there's somewhere, there's somewhere. And now that there's a coronation coming up, I'm desperate to find these robes, the American in me. And so she said she thinks, she's not sure, that they're in one of the chests in the house. So. We have to go look now. We're going on a yeah. coronation Let's robe go. treasure hunt. Do you know something though? What? I, I remember these robes. What? We used to take them out as kids and have dress up parties. Oh my gosh. I don't think we treated them very well. No, I don't think so. I hope they're still in good shape. Right, so your mom said it's in a chest in the house. And do you know what, to be honest, I've never looked in any of these chests. Well, there's three, there's three possible places. There's yeah. this one, there's another, very there's another chest here. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Um, and then there's a taller chest with a couple okay. of drawers. Okay, over whoa. There. They, wait, no, they could be in here. They could be, could be, I see velvet. I, can you hold that? Can you hold that? Can you hold that? I see like bits of velvet. Well, that That's... looks like a very moth-eaten oh, cushion cover. Wait, I recognize this. I think this is in the that... drawing room. Julie, Julie, no. Julie, Julie. You Julie, found Julie. them. Well, I found part of them. What? Yeah. What? Oh, <gasps> you did! You did! You did! <gasps> she gets very overexcited. Oh my, God. Oh my no, 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 no. gosh! No, no, no. So that—that is. No, because <gasps> no, I haven't. 
you yeah. know, I didn't know that this look, was... Look how fragile this is. So this is the, the waistcoat that would be worn under the robes. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys, you guys, so excited. Okay, so you're holding on to that. Yeah. Do, by the way, do you think that this can be repaired? Well, everything, be... everything can be repaired, okay, well. but it's so fragile that we need to be very, very okay, careful. Okay, I'm going I'm to put it here, Luke. So we've got two more oh chests. Oh my gosh. We've got that one and we've got this oh my one. Gosh. So, and now we go okay. into this wow. extremely ancient here, oak Here, here, I'll hold it, I'll hold it. Chest. I'll hold it, I'll hold it. I'll hold Which it. You look. Looks as though. Okay, I've got it. You look with two got, hands. It's got some again some lovely silk curtain material. I, I need to reuse that for the chapel yeah, there's, room. Actually, there's lots of cushions to be made. Out I'll of say. This. Well, wait. There's a big plastic bag all these here, cushions. Luke. Luke, this one. This okay, one. This could one. Be the, could be this the plastic one, bag. This one. This one. Here. This here. One. Here. 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 What's in there? No. In there? No. More. More curtains. A lot yeah. of this, I think, comes from Hinching Brook. I'm sure it does. Some of so it can be can reused. be turned back so, into into other things. If it's not in here, are there any other chests in the house that yeah, you can think of? There's one upstairs. There is one upstairs. Okay. Oh, lots of black plastic bags. Okay, I'll hold this. This one has well, a lot of lace. Lace. Yeah. That's look nice. at the lace. What? This can be a. What is that? something to be worn. What? A petticoat, perhaps. What is this? Is, what is this? Well, don't you think these might be petticoats? Are you holding this? Yeah, I am holding yeah. this. What is okay. this? Here we go. Look at this. No, no, no. Look, look, look. What? Very slowly. Um, these could be Albertas. I think they would have been worn. I think it's on your head. I think it goes what? on your head. No. Oh, you think it's a bonnet? Yeah, I think it's a bonnet. It's a sort of Bo Peep. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. Is it a bonnet? Am I right? We've got some sheep. There you go. Yeah. It's very fetching. Is it a bonnet? Chris, how does it look? <laughs> so good. <laughs> wait, wait, okay, wait. Okay, wait. What is that? There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Put go. it on me. Look at that. <gasps> these could be Albertas. Uh, There's a lot of these. Oh my gosh, go. look at oh, all this lace. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Look, there we are. Julie, we can get. Oh my gosh, take that off. His right and now. her. Take that little off. Little right bow peep. Wait, 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 wait. What? How come we've not seen this? No, 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 no. This is, this is really, really precious. That was Alberta's, I bet. Here <gasps> is a parasol. No. It's looking like okay, it's had better days. Okay, okay better we'll get days. that repair. Take that out. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see if we can open it up. You can. It's, it's come off over there. I feel as though that... There you go. Look at this. There you are. With your parasol. Oh, I know. Twirling away by this the is, banks. So I need to take this out. because I, ne I need to get this repaired. And then, oh, 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 I've just felt something. I've just felt something. I've just felt something. I've just felt oh my something. gosh. Oh my god! I've just felt something. Okay, shh, shh, shh. Judy's going to be so excited. She's going to pull okay, careful, them out. Careful, careful, okay, careful, careful. Okay, okay, okay. Careful, because that... Careful. It's, because that has been that, that, that is, is the family. Yeah, they they they're coronet. bent a bit, so I would be super careful. This is the coronet. How I'm amazing! That. And that. and I that. do remember having these as a child, playing with them, and playing kings and queens. Well, why? Okay, there's a little one. What and, is this? And and that would be the countess's no. coronet. So okay, these are going out. Th these are not going okay. back in. Okay. Oh my, oh my goodness, so this, so the Countess so this, wore this. Well, I don't know, to be honest. Here we go, this is Oh the, my goodness. The band or the... Oh my gosh. It's like a sort of Wait. part from a bathrobe Wait, that would second. go around your waist. And I think, look, these are gonna have to go on display and then after they go on display... Go. look. Oh my gosh, the robe. Oh my gosh, right. oh we, my gosh. I'll tell you what, let's lay, let's lay it out. Did we find, so we, this let's is lay it out. Let crazy. Lay it out. Okay. There it is. Whoa. Look at that. Hold on. That is quite something, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, there, you've there. got Earl of Sandwich and there. There we go, Earl of Sandwich. Sandwich. Now this is in rather better condition than the other one. Than the waistcoat. Well, you say that. I think. And there's some bits there, but... It feels like it to me. So you've got the inside, the silk lining. It's got a pocket. Gosh, it would be fun to find something in the pocket. The pocket is has disintegrated yeah. on that side and on this side. 
And then looking around this way, you've got the velvet and the ermine. It's incredibly heavy. And you can imagine wearing this for mm -hmm. hours on end as an elderly peer of the realm. First of all, you'd be incredibly hot and it would be weighing you down. And secondly, incredibly difficult to walk because you've got this long train coming after you. Oh my gosh. I don't know how they manage. I'm just in awe right now. So what I think I should do is because we're, the house is open to the public right now, we do three tours a day, five days a week. I'm going to put this, all of this up in the West Room. I think that's the best room to put it in. And then mm. people, I'll put a rope around it. It also means people can see it before yeah. the coronation. coronation. Yeah, Which exactly. is fantastic. I know I don't want to get too overexcited, so I sort of want to like bring it down a bit, be a bit British it's, about it. It's one of her greatest be days ever. British, very British. Be like, it's great, we found it. But actually, secretly inside, I'm freaking out right now that we found this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to take it. I'm just packing up everybody because I am about to head with my suitcase to film lots of bits for the coronation. So I'm here in London, I'm on the go all the time and we um, love working with AG1. They have been uh, one of the sponsors for our channels and we love being open and honest with you guys about who we work with. AG1 is fantastic and they have these amazing travel packs, which I absolutely love. But AG1 is just like filled with so much goodness. So 75 minerals, vitamins, pre and probiotics, whole food source nutrients, and you just need, it's like one scoop once a day, every day is all you need. So I am getting ready to go. I'm gonna put this in, shake it up. And yeah, and especially traveling around London, get a bit like crazy. So this helps me with my energy. AG1 helps with gut health, uh, hormonal and neural support. And you, know, you guys know I love it for the healthy mm. aging. Luke, why do you like it? Well, you've forgotten one absolutely key thing, <laughs> which is the microbiome mm. and the wonders that it works on your gut. We've teamed up to provide you with this amazing free gift offer. So click on the link in the description below to get a one year supply of vitamin D3 and K2 plus five of the AG1 travel packs free with your first purchase. So I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna take a pack with me and I'll see you all on TV at the coronation. Now, this is a time of year when there is a lot of new life at Mapperton. Wouldn't you say, Claire? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of new life at the minute. We started lambing on Easter Sunday this year. Lambs! We've got lambs! They're <laughs> popping out everywhere. But not just lambs, we've, the horses have come, we've got pigs coming. But you're right, today it is about the lambs and Remind our viewers what sort of lambs and sheep we have here. So we've got some Jacob sheep here. Yeah. Uh, they're a rare breed sheep. Um, we've got some shearlings up there. So they're a year old. They were born this time last shearlings year. Shearlings? Yep, they're called shearlings. Old. Yeah. Yes. Um, and they're all girls, so they'll come into the flock next year. Yeah. And then up here we've got the mums um, with their babies. Mums and the babies. Okay. So the oldest ones are what? Eight days old now. Eight days old. Yeah. Now, jumping and skipping, they're lovely. Now, are the mums responding well to the lambs? Uh, they are apart from one. From one? Yeah. So and one... Does, does that mean that Claire is having to be mum? I am at the minute. Claire but is mum. But we've got mum. to find him in a minute. Because well, mum what? is really ignoring him. And what is the name of your, your baby lamb? He's called Theo. Hey, he's called Theo. Because he's got three spots. So I just so... thought, Theo, three spots. <laughs> Simple. The O3 three spots. I think that's a pretty decent name for a lamb. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. We've got all these wonderful new lambs. Yes. When did they arrive? Um, so they started on Easter Sunday. 
uh, very apt. So proper Easter lamb. Yeah, we were hoping to have some out in the North Stable block so that the visitors over Easter could look at them, but sadly they they didn't quite come early enough. Yeah. So Easter Sunday followed by Easter Monday. And now, then we had Chris, a bit of a quiet spell. Chris filmed some, didn't you he? You did. You were there yeah. at you just the right the triplets, moment. You filmed didn't you? I got the triplets, yes. I got one giving birth. Yeah. How did you feel about that, Chris? Well, it was quite a new experience, was I don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to turn Chris into a countryman, you see. So the lambs all came out, no, yeah, so no we, drama. Um, I had to deliver two. You had to deliver two? Yeah. That means what, reaching in and pulling, pulling it, out it out? With a long glove? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but you're I quite good at that, aren't you? Yeah, that's, many, that's Claire, how many lambs have you delivered in uh, your not life? Not many. The last two years I might have had to do three, four, right, so maybe right. five so far. Okay, okay. Not many. I mean, this breed is really, really, they're easy going. They right. just look after themselves. And they just pop out. Edwina popped two out yesterday afternoon. Yeah, um, good so for Edwina. Got, I think we've still got six to lamb. Six to come. Yeah, we've got six ewes over there. So the ones right. that are still to lamb <clears> kind of hang out together. Great, well let's get in and go and have a look at Theo. Now Claire, I think I can hear yes, Theo he's, three spots. He's seen me. Oh my oh, goodness, look. there How he is. Resist. There he is. Oh my goodness, look at this extraordinary scene. <laughs> go on Claire. Come on, Come little, on. little boy. Come to mummy. And is that his mother there? That is his mum. And she's rejected him? She's just, come here. She's just not feeding him. Um, she came up to him just now, didn't she, Chris, when um, he started bleating. And why would a mum not feed I'm not sure. I mean, when I found him lamb. yesterday, she'd walked off with um, the, the little girl and Theo was cold and sad underneath the tree. He really wants his milk, doesn't he? He does. Now, he's, is he... He's um, a greedy boy. <laughs> is it a bad thing that we're giving him human scent? And does that mean that he's more likely to get rejected? He'd already... It, it, I needed to do something, otherwise yeah. he wouldn't be here. We've got these lambs at Mapperton. They've been here for decades. But <laughs> we've got a new job we for have. them this year. Yeah, they are, they are going to become part of the rewilding project. I've got to hold him. He's quite full now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <I just believe. laughs> Hello! Here we go. So we're, we are um, we're going to be planting a new orchard, a uh, traditional orchard up at Coltley. Um, and as part of the requirements for that, we need to graze uh, the grass around the trees right. with the Jacobs. So there'll be maybe five, half a dozen of the ewes going up there later on this year when we make a start on the work up there. Yeah. Um, and they're just great grazers. They will keep the grass uh, nice and neat in the species rich flower meadows as well. Right, in the meantime, I'm going to try oh, and where's return gone? Where's mum gone? Theo, over there? Theo to his mum. And um, we will see, which one is it? It's this she's, one, she's, she's just here, isn't she? Yeah. His With sister's the little got lamb. a really black face. Let's, um, let's hope this goes well. Here we go. Come on, Theo. Come on, Theo, here we go. Here we go, mum. Here we go. Oh, off you go, Theo. He's a bit wobbly, isn't he? Uh, he's, he, they're always a bit drunk after they've had some, some milk. They sure are. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is that just the sort of shock of, of um, all of this nutrient? Oh, he's having a good pee. <laughs> so glad he didn't do that on me. Well, all I can say is that Theo is lucky to have such an expert mum here. <laughs> If not over there, because um, <laughs> look at him. I don't know where he'd be without you. He's very handsome. Look at isn't those he? long back legs. Yeah. <laughs> now, one thing that Claire doesn't know is that we've made a decision on Mapperton Live, and that is to select certain animals to feature over time on the series. And little Theo, Theo Three Spots, is one of the lucky first animals. So Theo is featuring today, but we're also going to follow his life story over the coming months and possibly years. And we'd love to know what you think. Um, you know, if you're a Theo fan already, um, we're rooting for him. I mean, he was a bit wobbly, wasn't he, after his milk? 
but uh, I think he's got a long and prosperous life here at Mapperton and um, I hope you're all going to join in and follow his journey over the coming years. Right, Jess, see if you can see anything that's um, a little different about this room. Yes, I, I, I think that it's quite <laughs> obvious, isn't it? <laughs> a very big red gown. <laughs> These are the coronation robes of the Earl of Sandwich. And what you can see here um, is the velvet, the ermine, and then the Earl's coronet, which has the eight baubles on the top. And I don't know if you can see, Jess, but um, it's sewn into the top, it says Earl of Sandwich. It does indeed, yes. I, uh, I, I've been sewing labels in for my kids for school, but <laughs> that's, a, that's a much fancier handwritten yeah. label. Um, and this is important, but it's also interesting because for this coronation, I don't know whether people know, but for the first time, the king has asked that peers do not wear their coronation robes. He yeah. wants people just to wear um, a suit. So these are consigned to history. Yeah. Now, um, this is a, is a much smaller coronet here, but this one here, if you look at it, it's actually quite heavy. Yeah, hold on. Um, and it's rather magnificent. It's not encrusted with mm. rubies and diamonds and but still all very those fabulous things. But it is, isn't it? Yes. I mean, a little bent. Mm. I think, I think maybe an ancestor of mine has sort of bumped into yes. the odd sort of low doorway or something. Um, and I'm rather intrigued to know whether it would fit. So here we go. <laughs> oh, that's no. looking, it's no, looking no, right. It's not, it's no, it's a, oh, wait, oh, there no, we no, go. Right, yeah, it's just the wrong so way around. I, is it, has it got a front and a back? Um, well, you're missing, a, you're missing a piece there. So maybe don't put Where? that at the front. Where are we, what are we missing? There. Oh, oh you're right. It's a, it's missing a kind of fleur de lis. Yeah. It's come off. Oh no, well we're going to have to get that repaired. Yes. Anyway, what do you think um, as part of the tour? Do you think yes, people will like I think, it? I think definitely. Yeah. People love seeing actual things that have been worn. That's the great thing about it being a family house is uh, people really like to feel that people were living here. Um, and then what we do is tell the parallel story of your family. And this is, is evidence of that. It is indeed. Yeah. Jess, we better get out of here because that, tour that is tour's about, about to start. start. Yes. And, um, and anyway, longing to get feedback as to, yes. as to what people think, but I think it's all yeah. rather fun. Yeah. Great, thank you, let's go. All right. So today we're going to be putting these guys out for the for the week. So they're um, so we're still waiting for the stallion to get castrated. Um, so then what we're going to do is because we've got some really nice weather next week, we're going to turn them out so they're going to be outside um, in a little paddock. Um, so they're able to have a roll, have a pick of grass, enjoy life a little bit, and then we'll bring him back into the barn um, for him to be castrated when he's sort of next booked in. Um, and then once he's fully recovered then we'll take them over to Coltley and that's where they'll live for the for the duration. So I think what the plan would be is we if we if I get you and um, Meg to go and stand at the top gate up there um, and then I'll just stand back open the gate here and let them walk up hopefully when they see you guys they'll turn into that paddock where they're going to go to um, and then we'll just go and shut the gate and then that'll be them. So that's the plan. Come on then. Nice. 